welcome back to Flight of the Amazon Queen, everybody. I'm kind of super psyched to play this. Uh, I, I haven't, you know, it's it's it, what well, with Christmas and everything. I, I recorded a few episodes in batch, what last weekend or something. So it's it's been like a week since I played this game, and I I've been looking forward to getting back into the adventure, Joe. You know, and Sparky, and uh, Faye Russell. The famous movie star, you know, that we were we were transporting around in our plane just before we crashed. Uh, um, I I had I've, I've been trying to rack my brains on anything I could remember from playing this game when I was a, a kid. Like at the moment, we we're, we're in a situation where, I mean, if we do a quick recap, we we gave this comic to Sparky. He gave us a file or something, didn't he? I think, possibly. Um, and there was some kind of page as well that fell out. I've gone past it, haven't I? This, yeah, there it is. It's from the Commander Rocket comic, and has a coupon clip from it. I see. There's some sort of blueprint on the back of it. Okay. So we're probably going to have to do something with this blueprint on the back. No idea what, but sure we can find out. Um, we spoke to Bob and Naomi. They're going on a date. Bob gave us a vacuum cleaner. That got us into uh, Floater Inc. Um... There's some kind of secret ass passage puzzle we couldn't solve. Um, we we met some Amazonians. We met uh, a, a bud and a guy I can never remember the name of now. He was my hero, and I've totally forgotten his name, so I feel bad for that. Oh, we saw Death at the Jetty as well. Uh, let's let's go and chat with Bob and Bob and Naomi. I've got a feel we we gave the flower to uh, to Bob, didn't we? Maybe we need to give the perfume to Bob as well. Um, I, I don't know, I, I I can't remember what he said to us when we finished the conversation last time. And what, what's the deal with this barber pole? Um, okay, well, you know, that's great. I think Naomi knew something about that, didn't she? We were going to ask her and then, uh, I think we got distracted by the flower. Let's, okay, so let's try talking to Bob first. Let's see what Bob's got to say today. It wouldn't be an episode of Flight of the Amazon Queen Howdy, if we Bob. didn't have a little chat with Hello Bob. Hello again, Joe. Hello again, Joe. So, uh... Nice shop. Did you decorate it yourself? Let's ask him that. I had help from Naomi over there. Okay. She's got a real knack for interior decorating. Well, it is... It's, um... It's definitely something, Bob. I'll give you that. You're probably not going to win any uh, Grand Design Home of the Year awards. Um, you know, Kevin MacLeod. But, uh... It's, it's all right. As far as as far as tribe huts go, it's pretty good. I like the concrete walls you've got going on as well. Um, Does she live here? Yeah, good no. question, Joe. She lives in a house with her dad, the chief. That's the guy who's out in the barber chair, right? She's very I think so. pretty. Uh huh. <laughs> she sure is. And before you go getting any ideas, I'd just like to say that she's my girlfriend. All right, Bob. All right, we we worked that out already. You told us you were going on a date, you know. Um, Thanks for telling me about Naomi. Yeah, I That's bet. okay. God, why do you have to sound so pervy there, Joe? Jesus. I've got some questions that I'd like to What else to you got to tell us, Bob? What do you want to know? Anything about your date? Um, no, Thanks I can't see anything my questions. Hey, no problem. I think I'll browse. Let me know if you find something you like. Okay. All right, we're going to try chatting to Naomi instead. Hello, Naomi. Hello, Joe. What can I do for you? Sorry about that, everybody. I had to go and deal with a little man who wanted a bottle. I've talked about it before, but my little boy, he, 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 he shows no respect for the YouTube arts, you know. I, I told him that I'm upstairs trying to record a video, you know. Do you need your bottle now? And, and all he did was cry at me. I mean, granted, he can't talk yet, so all he can do is cry. But still, you know, it's, it, I'm trying to raise him better than that, so I'll, I'll have a word with him anyway tomorrow, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure it doesn't happen again. But uh, for now, right, we were chatting with Naomi, I believe. Uh, it's actually been about 25 minutes. <laughs> um, it's a pretty long intermission, I know. But uh, we were chatting with Naomi. We had a little chat with Bob. He had literally nothing to tell us. He was boring as shit. You hear that, Bob? I'm going to rag on you today. I was nice to you last time. This time, it's all about you and your, your bum fluff on your chin. 
Um, anyway, Naomi. So, um, no, I don't want to say this because he's going to say it in a really lecherous way. Ready? I'm interested in some of your merchandise. See? Which merchandise in particular? Uh, how much is Wedgwood? Oh, I want the how parrot. How much is Wedgwood the parrot? Wedgwood isn't oh, for sale. Oh, come on, Naomi. more like a member of our family than a pet. I'm then sorry, pet. Joe. But we'd never sell him. I just, I I guess that was I'll definitely just a typo. Have to settle for pizza tonight, then. <laughs> well, rather than chicken wings, you mean? I mean, What's it's a parrot. The barber but, you chair know. out front. That's part of my village hair salon. Oh, you run a hair I'm salon. A qualified stylist. Oh, that's cool. I don't get to use my skills much. The only thing people want around here are bowl hey, cuts. Hey, Naomi, bowl cuts are trendy. All right. I had a bowl cut when I was younger. You know, maybe if uh, you guys are lucky, I'll I'll show you a picture sometime. But uh, it it was beautiful. It was all the rage back then. All my friends, you know, everyone had a bowl cut. All the all the boys, all the girls, teachers, you know, uh, teachers assistants, their their dogs. We all had bowl cuts. It was all the rage back in the day. Okay. There's nothing wrong with See? bowl cuts. You got it right, I guess Joe. Not, but. I would like to try something different every now and again. Okay, well, look, all right, that's understandable. Okay, cutting a bowl cut is not particularly interesting. You basically take a bowl, you put it on someone's head, and then you cut around it. That's that is that is what a bowl cut is. Um, it's I mm, I think I know the answer to this one, but let's ask it anyway. Is hairstyling a family tradition? Sort of. Okay. My great grandfather it's not what I was expecting. used to take a. Little off the top, oh. if you know what I mean. Uh, Until he ran out of customers. Hmm. Could you give me a haircut? Maybe another day. So I've either got a um. Date with Bob tonight, and oh I yeah, to I know, ready. I know. Bob told I'm us. I'm really nervous about it. Okay. How come you're nervous yeah, about why? your date tonight? You've got oh, nothing to be nervous about, it's honestly. No big deal. I mean, look Bob at Bob gave me some perfume. Which I was going to wear tonight. Oh, sweet! But Wedgwood drank the entire bottle. Oh shit! He was drunk for a whole week. I got a funny story mm, about that. That explains the alluring aroma when we first met. <laughs> I haven't the heart to tell Bob what happened. I'll just tell him. And I know he'll be expecting me to wear the perfume. Just tell him. What am I going to do? Let's just say I had some. <gasps> oh, perfume. we do have some perfume. What would you give me for it? Well. I'm not allowed to give away any of the stuff in the store. Oh yeah. But I could give you some uh, enough money. Mm, I'm not sure like Bob would like that. Like my trusty hairdressing scissors. Oh right. For example. Okay. I'll keep that in mind if I happen to find some perfume. Uh, Joe, Thanks. dude. I think I'll look around. Joe. Okay. Dude, honestly, are you that dumb? You can't remember what's in your own pockets. Give the perfume Excuse to Naomi, Joe. Naomi. Don't hoard it. Yes, Joe. We were talking earlier about you needing some perfume. We, we did. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I'm about to make your day. Oh, Here's an shit, so. French fragrance. Joe, you're such a sweet guy. No, All I have uh, to offer you are my hairdressing scissors. They'll do fine. That is absolutely sure fine by me. Put them to good use. We can find well, something to cut, right? I can rest easy about tonight. We'll cut everybody. Now. Cut, cut Bob. Cut Wedgwood. Cut Joe, you know. Cut Naomi, or well, maybe not Naomi. She gave us the scissors, but um, <laughs> nice. Yeah, she she mentioned Wedgwood the parrot drinking perfume. Um, so like confession time. When I was a little baby, uh, I I don't know, two or three or something like that. I I may have done the same thing to my my mum's perfume. Um, I, I may have cracked the bottles open, you know, not literally, because that would be dangerous, but just open the tops and uh, guzzled down a couple of them, because they, they smelled pretty sweet, you know, and uh, it's, it's not a bad taste. I was probably probably trying to impersonate, you know, mummy and daddy with their, their wine and stuff, just uh, with a bottle of perfume. But yeah, I, I, I was apparently a, a pretty drunk baby for a couple of days. Um, I, I know they had to take me to the hospital, you know, and, and make sure I was going to be okay and, and do all of the standard checks and stuff, which was which was good. Uh, and yeah, they came back and said, it's all fine. Don't worry about it. You know, just be a little bit, a little bit obnoxious. Uh, don't let them drive any cars. Um, 
Make sure he doesn't send any late night uh, faxes because you know that was that was all the rage back then. Um, you know, just that's, those sorts of things. Um, and and yeah, I was I was good. I don't think it. Uh, don't think it had any effect on me. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, so we've got some scissors, which is nice. Can we use these scissors or anything? Can we use them on this? Let's just. Now isn't the time oh, to practice okay. my hair styling. All right, Joe. Jesus, such bitter. Bitter words coming from your mouth. We've got the net. We were going to try and catch that fish, weren't we? And we should go and talk to um, Bud, Bud or Buck. It's Bud or Buck or something like that. Oh, here we are. Here's the fish. The uh, it's it's the guy who was with the person we we got the com uh, Commander Rocket comic from. Um, because I don't think we actually talked to him in the end, did we? Let's use the net on the beetle anyway. Uh. -huh. Sorry, fishy. Wow, look at this thing. If I didn't save him from that fish, he'd be a goner by now. You're a hero, Joe. People are going to award you medals, and uh, bards will, will write tales of your greatness. Um, that water is really moving fast. Well, it's a waterfall, Joe. That's how waterfalls work, okay? It's gravity, and, and a whole bunch of other tensions being applied to do with, like... Water running over a, a surface and stuff. I, I don't know. I'm no no physics sign braintologist, right? I I didn't study physics sign brain. Oh shit! Yeah, there's a pirate monkey here. There is a pirate monkey jerking off a banana ghost. Um, let's forget about that for now, shall we? Uh, okay. Missionaries. I, I, somebody mentioned these already, didn't they? I want it. Look at the monkey. He's so cool. Hey there, little fella. I wouldn't get too close oh, to him. Okay. He hasn't had his shots yet. All right. Jesus. Did we pick up any bananas? Maybe we can give him a banana. I haven't got any bananas. Okay. Well, maybe we'll go back and get some bananas at some point. Seeing as we've got all these little monkeys, we can, uh, Hi we can give them. Hi there. My name's Joe. To... Howdy, Joe. A uh, Mary Lou Cook. Mary Lou Cook. My husband Cook. Jimmy and I run this mission. These accents are great. Uh, yeah, who did you set this mission up for? Who did you set the mission up for? Monkeys. Those monkeys. That's right. Oh, <laughs> very funny. Very we were boring. trying to teach the native pygmies. Oh, you mean the um, trade the box ones? Okay. Why, Why did they did run the away? pygmies run away? I don't know. I began saying... When they okay. suddenly upped and left. I think we know why. Listen. Uh -oh. All things great and beautiful. <laughs> I, <coughs> honestly, I... Excuse me. I don't know well, why they ran away. wasn't too bad, was no, it? No, it was fine. <laughs> I think it was beautiful. It was a wonderful rendition. I would have stayed for an encore, personally. I would have stayed for an encore. I would have paid, paid wow. good money to see Thank that. Thank you. you know? Just that, well, nothing else. I hope they come back soon. Um, so how, yeah, this is an how interesting one. Talk to the we wanted to talk to the pygmies, I didn't just we? I used my English to pygmy dictionary. Can we have that? Can I have a look at the dictionary? Let me see, let me you see know, that dictionary. I'd love to let you have a look. But... But it's the only one I have, and I can't risk losing it. We're in the jungle. Oh yeah, let you see, Joe's got the idea. We're in the jungle. We don't have any money, but can we maybe uh, do some some hippy hippy trades for it? You know, maybe I'll write you a poem. Uh, oh, Mary Lou, I look at you. I I see your dress coloured like poo, and I think, oh my, I hate you. Uh, let's see if she'll swap for the dictionary. For dictionary. Mm, what have you got to swap? Um. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Would you like another nail file? We got a file from Sparky. It's not worn out, is it? No, it's brand new. She was filing mm. her nails when we came in. This is the only reason I thought of okay. that. Okay, you got a deal. Nice. I'll swap. Good. Looks like we're going to get ourselves a pick me to English rainbow. dictionary. So am I. Back in the days where there wasn't wasn't any kind of Google Translate to rely on. So what have we have we got that now? Yes. It's an English to Pygmy translation dictionary. Nice. Let's talk to Jimmy. Jimmy, do you want a poem? Hi, I'm Joe King. Pilot Howdy for hire. Boss. The name's Jimmy Cook. Ooh. Welcome to our humble mission. 
It's our own little slice of heaven. He's like a slightly creepier Ronald Reagan, isn't he? Listen, listen. Do you know where I could find a phone? Hmm, that's a tough one. Hmm. The only place I can think of is the Floda Leader Hosen Factory. You, you look like you're the kind of person who probably shop there as well, to be honest with you. Looking at that attire. Let's see what this else he's got to say. Like a zoo than a mission. That's a good point, Joe. Hey, I happen to like animals. In we all do, time, but that doesn't mean I'm we spend all our uh, all our time with them, I you know? Sloths. Sometimes this it's nice to have a little break from each other. You, you might love these monkeys, but you know what? These monkeys probably want their free time, you know, to do their monkey things. I mean, this guy probably wants to get a bit more intimate with his banana ghost. Uh, he probably wants to find some more balls to play with. And I... I mean, this guy's kind of staring at this cross creepily, so I'd, I'm not even going to mention that guy. Have they do got the names? Do monkeys have names? Oh, they sure do. Okay. This one here is called Bonzo. Bonzo. The one in the middle is Cheetah. Okay. And the one in the pirate hat is Oh, Bubbles. Bubbles. Oh, God. Like Michael Jackson? You mean... No. Surely not the banana ghost. Um... Let's ask him about what sloths. Exactly, is a sloth. A sloth is a tree climbing edentate mammal found in Central and South America. Good to know. Sloth knowledge. Hairy, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Uh, it does sound a lot that like, my grandfather. like my grandfather. Um, he's dead now, unfortunately. Your grandfather but, climbs trees? Yeah, he does, regularly, um, in ghost form. It's, it's just one of his many hobbies, to be honest with you. Can't keep a dead guy down, you know. Uh, <laughs> what do they eat if they have no teeth? Well, they eat stuff that doesn't require Bananas. chewing. Bananas. species in this jungle has a particular liking for oh, sweet, sweet nectar. nectar. Okay. I don't think we've got any sweet nectar, do we? I never thought sloths uh, could be so interesting. I know what you mean. Once you begin studying them, you find it hard to stop. I, I, Truly you know what? I agree. God's finest creation. I'm going to go away. I think today. I know enough about sloths. I, no, we don't, Joe. We need to know, know more. Enough. Exactly. All right. Creepy Ronald Reagan's got the right idea here. I'm going to, I'm going to finish up this session later, uh, probably quite soon actually, and I'm, I'm going to go away and study sloths. You know, Joe, because you can never have enough sloth knowledge, Joe. All right. Get that into that skull of yours. Okay. Um, why do we have why a mission do you in the jungle? Have a mission in the Amazon jungle. It's a weird why place not? to keep it, to be it's honest with you. Just as good as any other place. No, it's the ranch chain. It's not though, Ladders is it? Nice. Really? And the place is brimming with natives who need spiritual. These guys. are monkeys, not natives. And the pygmies don't give a shit about your your godly ways. Uh, are you giving these monkeys guidance? Good question, Joe. Monkeys are people too. They've got feelings. Kind of, yeah. They have beliefs. They do. They, so I'm not sure about beliefs. Less than 50. We're used to that. Beliefs are kind of a fucked up result of, of mankind, unfortunately, dude. I'm not sure that monkeys necessarily have beliefs. Maybe. Somebody might prove me wrong on that fact. I mean, they, they definitely have feelings, you know. They've got personalities. They are basically little people. Um, but I'm just not sure that they, they believe in things in the same way that you, you seem to think. You know, I, I'm not 100% sure on a monkey's capacity for imagination. I, uh, I'm i sure there is a capacity for imagination now. I'm just not sure it stretches as far as creating a monkey deity, that, that, deity even, that uh, leads all the monkeys, you know, uh, as well as creating books, freaking thousands of pages of stories. I, I'm just not sure about it. You know what, Creepy Ronald nice Reagan? Talking to you. It was nice talking oh, to you. Bless you, my son. Oh, well, thank you very much. That's lovely. That's lovely. Um, all right. Let's just head back into the jungle quickly. I'm not quite sure what else we can do. Um, we need to solve the, 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 the puzzle in Floater Inc. We've got the bug now. We don't have any sweet nectar, do we? That's something you mentioned. No, we've got some dog food. I don't think that counts as sweet nectar, though. Uh, Cheese it maybe? Maybe the sloth's attracted to Cheez-Its. That's a possibility, right? Oh, here we go. So what? It's... Oh, Skip and Bud, of course. Now, let's talk to Bud and see what Bud's got to say. Hello. Hey, Hi, Bud. Joe. Hey, Joe. That's that's lovely. Lovely way to greet me. So, um... Oh, How's yeah, we did talk rash? to him, of course. Yeah, I still got it. He mentioned he's got a rash. I tell you, 
A rash cure in this jungle would be worth money. How do well, we cure Bud's I'll rash? I'll keep an eye out for one. Thanks. How do we get rid of Bud's, Bud's clap? How do we deal with Bud's clap? Um... Thanks, Thanks for, for talking. talking. It was it was good See talking you. to you, bud. Talk to you later. I genuinely forgot that we'd actually talked to him. Have we got anything to get rid of the clap? Can we like give him this bug? Give the beetle? Nah, I'm gonna hold okay. on to it for a while longer. Well, that's fair enough, I guess. It's slightly weird to be carrying that round in your pocket, but you know what, guys? I think I'm gonna finish up there. I'm gonna have to have another little think about anything that we might be able to do. Uh, recap in my mind the kinds of things we've done. But thank you very much for watching. It's been a lot of fun. Sorry about the intermission at the beginning. Just had to do that dad stuff, you know. Um, don't forget to press like and subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, thank you and I will see you in the next video.